Okay, keep pushing, keep pushing. She's got a good drive here. Really good drive. Fantastic drive. Now we're getting her on the whip. Can she pull away? Can she pull away? Welcome to Horse Racing Gamer, where champions are made. YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to Galbrazier 2001. Uh, Scabbage Speed, she's on a roll. We're going to get her back into another race and some of our other horses. She did really good last time out at the 7 Furlong Grade 3. I want to run her at this distance in class again to see how she responds. So we'll do that for her. Mystery Knight, I think, is good. Alley Babel. 9 to 13 on the turf, right? Yeah. Another Grade 2. Any Grade 1s coming up? No. All right. Grade 2, Biscayne. We should be able to win that pretty easily with him. Nothing said. Our dirt horse. Seven wins at eight starts, two grade ones. He's on a roll. Pretty much approaching his peak. So let's continue to try to get him in that right window. Um, don't really want to waste time running him in an open. Let me give him a little bit of a layoff, run him in the grade three March next month. Yeah. All right. Um, don't think there's anything else. Let's look at it this way. Yeah. I'd run him in this grade three in March in Miami. Overclass. I don't really want a handicap in this game. That's kind of annoying. I mean, what do they want me to do? He doesn't have a good... He's not a turf horse. Really. So, like, I'm not going to put him in a turf race and risk ruining, you know, his winning success. So... I guess I'm just going to have to be patient. There's like no, there's nothing for him to do, unfortunately. So like, what does the king want me to do? I could save him till May, but like, again, I'll carry a handicap. <sighs> That's so annoying. It's like, what do they really want you to do? They want, it's like they force you to run the horse in a race, like, he, he's going to have a handicap for everything under our grade three. That's obnoxious. I get it, but it's like, come on. There's not enough races in this game <laughs> for dirt horses. Seriously, like, he can't run in anything. What? This is a joke. And where are the dirt, where are the grade ones at? There are, like, no dirt grade ones. The independence in, like, that's bizarre. Unbelievable. I guess I'm just going to have to run him in a race with a handicap. That, that's that's insane. It's, like, really insane to me. Like, they're literally just going to make our dude wait. Till when? Forever? I mean, what else do they want me to do? I'm not going to run him on the turf just to put him in a, in a race. I just, I don't want to do that. Spring Hoof. Oh, he actually has a title. I think I said that in the last episode, that Scavage Speed had one. She does not. He does. Yeah, that's really annoying, bro. <laughs> like, there's no races for him at all. Okay. Silent Sun, he did not do well in his debut at all. Terrible incline rating. Um, definitely have to figure him out. He late developing horse, though, so we have a lot of time. But still, I, I want to get him in his window sooner than later. So next race, I'll try to hold him a little bit longer before I send him on his way. But... I can actually throw, like, no dirt grade ones. Like, they want to give my guy a handicap. But then they also don't want to allow him to compete in grade twos and grade ones. Like, what is that about? That's a very weird thing in this game I have actually not experienced in a while. Like, usually with our horses that I've been able to win grade ones with, which is only, like, three, as long as they were doing well in the lower graded stakes races, they always had the ability to run in grade ones. They just don't want to give... Um, our guy, any grade one, so that's weird. Anyways, we're switching gear. Scabbit Speed, she'll kick off today in a grade three Michigan Stakes. She's a long shot again. She finished second time. She finished second to last time out when she had odds like this in a field like this. Color Rush again. So it's more so kind of uh, round two of the uh, last grade three we did in the last episode with her. And what I'm going to try to do is get her going a little bit quicker in the stretch to try to catch Color Rush because we almost beat that horse. Outside draw is not going to help unless we get a rocket start, then maybe it can. 
And I'm actually gonna try to push Scabbit to the front here. And when I say push her to the front, just try to get her. Beautiful break. We usually don't get a good uh, a start like that from the uh, outside draw, so. Where's Color Rush? Is that the horse, the number two horse again? Color Rush is the number two horse again. Why? <laughs> Okay, let's go. Come on, Scabbit Speed. Down the stretch we come here in the Michigan Stakes. Color Rush is gone. And unless we can catch that horse at the end, this is not looking like it'll be that result. Color Rush gone. We're closing, though. But not... See, that horse gets the benefit of just getting the early start on us because that horse is at inside leverage on us compared to us having to start from post position freaking 12. If I had inside post... We could have made that a much better run that time around. Still, she finishes third. This is a horse that's not supposed to be finishing. This horse is supposed to be finishing a last place in these races. And she's still getting into the top two, top three. Hunt Rider eval. Let's go. I'll take it. Wanted to get that win. Couldn't quite get it done. But that's still a fantastic effort. And all these results help, man. Scabbage Speed hopefully will give us a really good horse when we use her for breeding. Biscayne Stakes. Did I not just run this race? No. Grade 2 with Ali Babble. We are the favorite. And uh, should be a pretty easy win for us at 9 furlongs. Field of 14. Not really concerned with the field. So, um... Closest horse to us is the one horse, Free Fat. Why would you name a horse that? I have no freaking idea. Post position 12 again? I'm not feeling these outside draws, man. It's really, really quite bothersome, but we'll have to deal with it. Good start here for Ali Babel. Oh, by the way, for anybody playing this game or Galp Racer 3, I did get a comment recently on how to get good starts. I just tap up on the uh, up directional button as soon as the gates open. That's pretty much it. I don't even know if that's the proper way to do it, but I'm guessing that's how it's supposed to be done. Because I, I can't imagine pressing on any other button will work. This field is too spread out, man. Ali Babel not happy, but that's because he wants to be further back. But it's not my fault the rest of the field is, like, asleep. No, he's a happy. Okay. Dude, look how spread out this field is. This is at least... This is over 10 lanes, right? So hopefully <laughs> we can make a really good run. Pace is mid, 59-1 and one at the half. Okay. Good move here from Ali Babel. Fantastic move to get into open traffic, and we're gone. As soon as we get on some flat ground on this incline, that's it. Hello, goodbye, see you later. Ali Babel rolls on to dominate in the gray two Biscayne, and that's how we do it. Let's go, my boy. Fantastic win. Great move. Responded accordingly. And uh, without a doubt, the best horse in the field. Let's go. Fantastic win for Ali Babel. Fantastic win. And we'll take it. Yeah, you win a race like that by three lengths, you get an 89 rider eval. So my control rating was a D, but that's because I had to settle them down at the beginning of the race. Not really my fault. Nothing I could do there. We'll take it. A third and a first for Scabbit Speed and Ali Babble. <laughs> and those are two horses we're probably going to breed together. So hopefully that will be a sign of good things to come. Well, Scabbit, she's tired. She has 11 more races to go. I'll give her a layoff as she deserves. But she's been on a roll, man. On a roll. And the fact that she only costs $80, 80 points per month. Like, I'm able to get so much more out of her for the 80 cost, you know? Our purse is almost over 100000 so that's fantastic. Mystery Knight, again, she's only at 25k. Ali Babel, he's already at 31000 Nothing said at 32000 And Silent Sun has yet to get going. Oh, yeah, the shop. I forgot. Let's go ahead and look. Remember last episode or last video, I ordered a new catalog for special ranked horses. Let's see what's here. King of Kings. No available horses. That stinks. 
Changing the catalog. I could wait till next month, but I don't want to waste that. So I'm going to see... Let's check out Star Horse. Special rank Star Horses. See if we get anything last, uh, next month for that. I don't know if we will. Did I, wait, did that go through? Order. Okay, just want to make sure. All right. Um, Silent Sun. Um, last time out, I ran him... I think it was eight furlongs, was it not? And he struggled with that. Seven or eight, whatever it was. He didn't do well, so let's give him another shot again. Open eight. That's all I can really do for him. And uh, I'll try to hold them a little bit more in the stretch and then send him on his way. It's the only bad thing about him. He doesn't have a great stamina or endurance rating, and he wants to lead. So depending on the pace, that could be good or bad. And we have to be leading, otherwise he won't be happy. So no matter what the other horses are doing, I have to keep him in front of them. He has to be first no matter what. And that could be burning him out. We'll see. Mystery Knight, our five-year-old mare. She's up in the open hurricane handicap. And she does a pretty decent odds here today. Actually, a relatively competitive field. Half of these horses all realistically have a chance to win. Nobody's running away with it. Busy Winnie is the favorite, the 11. We have post position 7. So hopefully this will be good for us. And there she is, the wonderful Mystery Knight. Look at the look at the clouds. I just the background. Actually kind of moving as you pan. I'm telling you, man, a different part of Tecmo worked on this game. Let's see how she does here today, Mystery Knight. And this hope open handicap. Not even going to say it. You guys already know when I say once she gets out the gates. It's a good start for Mystery Knight and try to get her settled pretty quickly here. Pushing the pace quite a bit here, but it is a sprint, so that's understandable. But fantastic. We're just going to go right down to the rail here. And I'm just going to keep her right inside of these horses. We can steal a win if we can run like this. Hopefully. That's the goal. Don't want to get overtaken there, so make sure I keep her right in this little window, this little pocket. Okay, she's holding pretty nicely. Ah! Did not think that happened. I didn't actually move. She just kind of drifted into that horse. Okay, keep pushing, keep pushing. She's got a good drive here, really good drive. Fantastic drive. Now we're getting her on the whip. Can she pull away? Can she pull away? Mystery Knight, half a furlong left to go. Oh, no, the field just came on a rush. I could have stayed on the whip, but I think that would have tired her out more. I really thought we were going to get the win there, and then three horses kind of came up out of nowhere. Still a good effort. She finished, I think, ideally where she was supposed to, around there, fourth or fifth. Should have been a win, but we'll take it. Money place finish. That's all that matters. 76 Ridery Valley, yeah. Kind of the best I could do with her in that situation. Uh, not ideal, but what can you do? This year's breeding season has arrived. Ooh. Scabby Speed's still doing so well. I'm not I'm gonna keep racing her for at least one more year. Because I think it'll be much more worth it to us to get her as many more top three finishes top five finishes as possible i think that will just make her breeding profile that much better so one more year i think it'll be worth it i really do all right ali bamble <laughs> i love saying the name like that i don't know why i hope that doesn't annoy you guys hopefully it doesn't but let's see what we can do here with ali bamble <laughs> uh, royal cup he's not a sprinter so that doesn't make sense for us Another grade two, possibly. See if there's any grade ones that'll pop up for us. King Cup Spring, 16. <sighs> I think I am going to try him out. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Can you do that? You can. Okay. I'm actually going to try him out in the King Cup Spring. Need some grade ones for our boys, so let's see. Three furlongs longer than he needs to. Top two go to the Golden Oaks, but... I think we gotta give him a chance. He has, he does have some endurance, so it's not as if he's complete. Why can't I? 
Oh, it's the open. I thought it was on the King Cup Spring. Die, Eric. That open race, top two go to the Golden Oaks. I wonder if any of... I don't even know if Mystery Knight or Scabbit could qualify for that. Let me see. Maybe she can? Hopefully. That'd be sweet. No. Three-year-olds only. Oh, Royal Cup for Scabbit. I think that'll be too tough for her. So I'm not going to do that to her. The runner in another grade three. Eh. Grade two might be a little bit tough as well. She's in good form right now. I'm going to actually step her up in the grade two, which seems so crazy. And see if we can still get a top five finish. Because, again, she's punching above her weight right now. So if we can get these wins, I think that's what's important. Let's check the shop again to see if there's anything new in here. Bad Vicky. 4,300. We have a lot of fillies and mares. We don't need another one. I need better Colts. Terrible temper. I don't think she's that good for 43000 She's definitely overpriced. Some of these special catalogs are really kind of garbage to me. Like the horse, the quality of the horses and the price they're asking is, is not worth it at all. So screw these two categories. I'm going back to the regional or domestic level. Um, let me at least go to aim high possibly or top. Let's try top of USA actually. Domestic S ranked horses. We'll order this catalog next month or the month of May and see what we get. Because I'm not feeling the special ones. Like the horses that are popping up are way overpriced and to me they're not worth it. So I'm not going to spend my money like that. I don't think we're doing breeding. There's, we don't have a colt to retire. All of our boys are still either close to hitting their prime or they're not even close to hitting their prime. So No studs this year, but next year for sure. We're already in April, so that, that's like in a video or two. We'll probably get to breeding season at least two videos, more than likely. Oh, look at this handicap, bro, 136. Because for some reason, they don't want to give this guy any other dirt races that are great at stakes. Insane, man. And to think, he still has a chance to do something here. <laughs> We're carrying literally like an extra 20 pounds. That's so insane. It's like, what do they want me to do, man? Starting on the turf first and then going into the dirt. Wow, what a start for nothing said, man. Holy crap. Let's get going, my boy. Fantastic start. All right. Just want to get to the rail as quickly as possible, and then we'll allow the other horses to kind of take their position, and we'll settle him in right here. Fantastic start for nothing said. Okay. Let's take a panorama. I kind of like this camera angle. It kind of gives me like an older PlayStation 1 type of vibe. Maybe even an older, old, old console. Even before the PlayStation. I'm not sure what you would compare it to. But I think this is good just for seeing the overall layout of the field. Obviously, you probably wouldn't do that long term. We keep nothing said to the rail here. Now we're going to go. Gosh. I, I really hope we can get this win. Down the stretch, we come with nothing said. Oh, look at this. Even with a 20-pound handicap, nothing said. Can we get there at the line? Oh, man, I tried. I really tried because I thought for a second we weren't even going to have a chance to win. Then once I saw we were in that head-to-head -head with that eight horse, I'm like, we have to keep pushing. Oh, it's going to be so close. Yeah, let's go. That is why you push at the last half furlong. You keep driving until you're across the line. What a win for nothing said. 20 pound handicap, people. <laughs> I don't know why my voice pitched like that, but I, I guess I'm just excited. That's a race we should not technically win. 20 pounds over the rest of the field, and we still win it by a nose over the eight horse Dutch Prince with a 102 rider eval. Yeah. Yeah. Take that, Tecmo. Trying to stack the deck against me. Not gonna happen. 
on that occasion. Any other horse, we'd probably finishing in second to last or dead last. So <laughs> we'll take it, right? We will take those 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 results. I'm building for the future, people. I know it's a little stagnant and boring because we're just racing the same horses. But again, it's hard to progress in this game. You have to like take this approach. You can't cheese it. You can't cheat it like you can the other gallop racers where you just buy the best horse in the shop and you go from there. You actually kind of have to work with the low class horses in this game for a while. Get your money so you can really get those good horses. And then you have a good line of breeding. In fact, you can approach breeding in this game the same way you would on gallop racer 3. Because those games, as far as how they're run, you can go bankrupt. You have to purchase those horses. Usually they're overpriced. Like, they're, they're the same, right? So, I think you approach this game the same way. Silent Sun, newly acquired three-year-old Colt. We're back with him in an open today. Better odds, hopefully. However, better running. Only front runner, so hopefully I can set a good pace here. And then we'll see how, how he adjusts. Not the best of starts. We'll have to work with it. Okay. I never noticed the Dream Cup soundtrack or the Dream, Dream Cup uh, OST for Galbraiser 3. Sounds like some Dungeons and Dragons nonsense. And I, I, I shouldn't even say nonsense. Dungeon, Dungeon and Dragons is cool if you're into that. But it doesn't sound like a Galbraiser song. <laughs> you guys probably couldn't hear it all that much. But, um, yeah. See, now here's the deal with this guy's Silent Sun. Slow pace. I kind of am able to control it, but we're still technically not in first, but I don't really want to go any faster. So I'm going to hold on here. That horse is blocked. Not my problem, Goofy. Okay, now we're going to go because he doesn't have great stamina, so I have to see what's the best way to run him. I didn't hit that horse. That horse is hitting me. Man, what am I supposed to do with this guy? Like, he has to run in first, but he's dropping back. Was he worth it? I know he, I, I, I purchased him knowing his endurance was not going to be great, but come on. <sighs> that's, <laughs> that's not what I want. He's earning me nothing. And I I know I have to be patient with him. He's not going to peak until he's six years old, man. He has a long way to go, but he has a good turf. I mean, he's, I mean, not good turf rating. He has good guts, so he's not breaking his. So is it really just going to be like this? It's just going to be extreme gro uh, growing pains with him? Gosh, that's. <laughs> I wonder if he would do better on the turf. This game is so weird. Sometimes it, you could try it. I'm going to run him seven furlongs on the turf next time out. Imagine he does better there. I'd be like, okay, so screw his dirt rating. I'll just turn him into a turf horse. I don't know. Mystery Knight, she's ready to go again. Um, Yep, I'm going to keep racing her for one more year as well. Until I eventually feel like it really does make sense to retire her. In fact, let's check her results. So, she's finished in the top three, 15 of 27 starts. So, not super great. See, she's kind of all over the place. Couple wins, couple place finishes here and there. No consistency, really. Um, runner at a mile in Delaware. I know with her, I'm just using her for money, and she's finished in the top four at least the last two times. So um, as long as she can continue to finish in the top five, I'll keep racing her because, again, that's money we can count on. So uh, we don't have any Colts to use for breeding, unfortunately. So skipping it this year, but next year we'll be ready to go. None said, what a, what a stud you are, bro. They really try to stack the deck against you. You're like, uh, no, not having it. 20 pounds doesn't mean anything to me. Eight wins out of nine starts. Looking fantastic. Got to get you in a gray one now, brother. So hopefully there's one available. 
Like, I think he's proven himself by now, and the game is still, like, wanting to be picky and choosy. It's so annoying. Okay, some great ones are popping up, but they're not for him. Why can't... Oh, Tokyo Derby only three-year-olds. See, this is why we need to progress in the game, because, like, there are more grade ones I can unlock, but I'm not there yet. So we're kind of limited. I'm going to have to run this guy in handicaps. That's insane. Like, races with handicaps, because there are no dirt races lower than a, higher than a grade three. That's literally criminal. Like, where are the grade twos at? There's not even grade two dirt races he can compete in. I mean, there's not a lot of grade twos, period, but still, like, it just... That's so frustrating, man. Like, this is a great horse. I want to get as much out of him as I can. And they're like, ah, no. Like, I don't want to give him a super long layoff because I'm still trying to win money here. But it's like, I'm... 11 and a half and this is the only grade two i have to take i have to do it it's not his preferred distance but he needs i think if we can at least do well in a grade two maybe that'll open up some grade ones for us but yeah that's it's crazy giving us like nothing with this guy all right well let's continue to roll on i suppose Palm Beach Handicap here. Open territory with Scabbard Speed. Not the favorite. Why did I put her in this race exactly? Did I mean to? I definitely didn't mean to put her on the dirt. That was a mistake. I probably thought this was a turf race. <laughs> I'm like, wait, why is Scabbard Speed in a dirt race? <sighs> oh, well, we're just going to have to see how she does, right? Yeah, totally did not mean to put her in this race, but um, it's an open, so she should be okay. Like, we should still finish in the top five, maybe even get the win if I can really run her right. I certainly think she's still powerful enough to win this. Her dirt rating, I think, is seven points lower than her turf, so... It's not like she can't run the dirt, it's just not her preference. Fast pace, 46 flat. Okay, something's got to move. Ah... Gosh dang it, stop doing that. <laughs> uh, she's got a decent run here. Oh, she's she's pushing. Scab at speed. Look at her go. Look at her go. She's amazing, man. This mare is amazing at six years old, running on surfaces she shouldn't be, still kicking butt. I don't care if it's an open handicap or allowance or whatever. She's a turf horse primarily. And the fact that she can run, win that race on the dirt, while not being the favorite. Oh, man. This is why I'm going to continue to race her until it's time to do breeding next year. 108 rider eval. Let's go. Length and one length and a quarter victory over power aid. The three horse. We'll take it, man. We will take it. She's so fun. She is such a fun horse to run with. That's why Scabbit is... I mean, Scabbage one of the all-time greats in Gallup Racer. As far as, like, a very reliable horse you can run with across all the games, more or less. She, They definitely buffed her as the games uh, developed more. Like, she's not that great in Gallup Racer 3. She's a little bit better here in this game. And I think she really takes off in Gallup Racer 2003 and Gallup Racer 2004. So, Fantastic win again for Scabbage Speed on the dirt. I didn't even mean to put her in that race. But like I said, her uh, dirt rating... Only eight points lower than her turf. Gosh, she sh I, I really hope we get an awesome her horse once we use her. This is ideally the type of horse horses I need to look for. And fast spurts help a lot, too. You can do a lot of damage with a fast spurt. All right. Um, fantastic. So how many more races do we have? So at least do the next two, three, four, whatever we can do. Quick save. I've not done that in a while. All right. I don't even remember who I used to get Scavage Speed. I'm going to have to watch my older videos back and 
write down the pedigrees. So going forward, I know who we're, who we have and what we're working with. But that was an awesome victory. Was not expecting that, but she's she's defying the odds. She's going to be the beginning of a great line of horses for us. We have a horse like her in every game. She is going to be the start of that line, of that pedigree, of that greatness in this game. Remember from Galbracer 3, Wild Motion, Wild Vegas. Um, who else was in that pedigree? Stardust King, all of those horses. Go uh, Silly Goose or whatever I had. I think Sky of Speed is one of those type of horses where she is going to really give us what we need. So Mystery Knight up in this open. No chance here. She is the long shot. We need a top five finish. That's all that matters. See how she does. We'll be approaching the end of this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And it's been a pretty good one. Except for Silent Sun, who just has such growing to do. I'm probably just going to have to realistically expect that we're not going to win too often with him. And at least until another two years. So my goal is just going to be to race him as much as possible. Hopefully, um, we'll, we'll get some good momentum going with that three-year-old Colt at some point. But he has a long way to go, so I can't rush it. I have to be patient. Sometimes I'm just like used to like horses with longer growth types at least being competitive in their early careers. He's not even competitive. He just drops to last place. So it is what it is. Long stretch here. Okay. There we go. It's Scabbit Speed. Or excuse me, Mystery Knight, not Scabbit Speed. Now we just need to get a top five. She is the long shot in this field. Can we outlast these other horses? She's got a good run here. Less than a furlong left to go. We just need a top five finish. Mystery Knight pushing, looking pretty good. And we're going to get fourth. That's what I'm talking about. That's all I need with her. As long as she can continue to finish in the top five, I will continue to race her. Now once... The top five finishes start to happen less and less. That's when I think it'll be a good time to retire her. Because, again, we need this money. These results, they matter. And they also matter for her because they're at least added to her profile. She's not finishing in the top three. But the money place finish in fourth or fifth still adds to her total purse. So I think you have to take advantage of that. All right. We either have two or three more races left. It depends. We'll see. Legendary Star Horse Alarm Descent or Alarm Decent is up here. King Cup Spring. Oh, fantastic. This is what we're competing against with nothing said. This is completely off topic, but because I'm listening to this Retro Wave um, playlist here. Is anybody familiar? Well, I'm sure some of you know the, the, the band Daft Punk, right? They don't make music anymore. But um, if you're familiar with Daft Punk, has anybody watched their little kind of one-off movie special. It's one of my favorite things. I haven't watched it in forever. And in fact, if you know about Daft Punk and you've listened to them, I would be curious what your favorite song is. If you have no idea who they are, then don't worry about it. All right, Ali Babel, he's up in the King Cup Spring, our first grade one in what seems like forever. And we have to beat our rival. That's going to be a hard task. And we have to beat the favorite, the 12 Horse Goon special. I don't know if he's a grade one capable horse, and if he is, this distance is ideally not what he should be doing. But again, I had to take a chance because I'm like, I have to see what he's capable of. But like he can run 13 furlongs max, so we'll see how he does with 16. Now, fortunately, he needs, he needs to run towards the back. So as long as I can save stamina with him, I think we could actually make this work. So I'm going to drop him back as much as I can, and we'll try to save as much stamina as possible, and we'll let the rest of the field kind of do whatever they need to do. Cool. Yeah, so hopefully this should benefit him. I think just keeping him back here running very slowly will definitely um, save him as much endurance as possible. That's the goal here. And then hopefully we can have a really strong run once we hit the stretch. Mid pace, okay. He doesn't. He just needs to be ahead of like at least a horse or two. Cool. Okay, I think he's managing pretty well, honestly. Um, I 
Yeah, I think he's managing pretty well. A little bit tricky, though. We're kind of battling with some of these horses back here. They really left the rail open for me. That's a terrible mistake, but we'll see if that comes back to bite them in, in the butt once we hit the stretch. All right. I'm really curious what how, what he'll be able to do. Like, I wonder if I'm doing this right or if he'll still be too tired. I've done virtually nothing since the start, so I certainly hope this is good stamina management here. And, of course, being on the rail also helps. We have a long way to go, though. That's the only thing, so very long way to go. We got to go now because I got to try to get in a gap somewhere. Ah, nope. All right, come on, nothing said. He's trying, man. He's trying. I'm going to follow behind this horse. He's gassed, completely gassed. He's still pushing. Yep, that's a tough race, man. You really got to... That's just a clear reminder of how far we still have to go in this game because... Clearly, you need a super distance horse that legitimately can run 16 furlongs. Um, I did the best I could with him. I Come on, that's three furlongs longer than he needs to run. That's a long distance. So, um, did his best. But, yeah. Wanted to give him a shot. I took a chance there. <sighs> it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. So let's actually finish whatever these last, well, last race or two. And then we'll head into the summer with the month of June next time we come back around. Alrighty. Up in this open here with Silent Sun. Again, he has no chance. Running him on the turf, though. He's looked... Really bad on the dirt, and that's what I think his preference is. I'm going to try him out on the turf and see if there's any better response. Most likely not. I just have to be patient with him. I have to keep reminding myself. Okay, good start here. The Silent Sun. Um, well, his stamina is already bad, but it must be extremely low right now. Now, this is what's annoying. Like, why are you whipping trying to push the pace? There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do about this at all. Like, I'm trying my hardest, and he's just not... He's not really getting to the front as much as I need him to. And then we're running him so hard. Like... Aye, aye, aye. That's super annoying. But what can I do, yeah? Like, he's already gassed. This is what I mean. There's no way... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to have to keep just... Putting him in dirt races and be patient with him. You can go around. Man, oh man. He only cost $7,900, but gosh, I really hope he'll be worth it once he hits his peak. Because he is, it's a slow grind with him. I would say it's a slow, excruciating grind because he's just not even competitive. Eight rider eval. Not much I can do again. That's kind of outside my control. The horse just is not there, clearly. And it's so easy for me to feel like he's not worth it. We lost some money there. But look, we the guts, the incline, and the conditioning went up. So he's, he's growing. Last race here. Last race. And his dirt rating just moved up from 74 to 75. So... Gosh, the patience with him is going to be crazy. I really hope the payoff is worth it. Sincerely. I think at his peak, he should at least be a B-ranked horse. So technically speaking, he should eventually be able to, to compete like Scavage Speed, our six-year-old mayor does. He should be close to her once he hit his peak. Once he hits his peak. And he's able to do that. So I think he'll be worth it. I hope he'll be worth it. Anyways, last race of the video, a grade two on the dirt. The winter stakes, nothing said. Favorite here. Not really a competitive field. We should be able to kind of breeze through this. And hopefully this sets up some grade ones that he can be eligible for. 
because they're not giving us any grade one dirt races with them, which is absolutely criminal. Okay, good start here for Nun said. All right, fantastic start. I want to send him to the rail here. Perfect. Say, so why are you in the yellow, bro? Where, where, where do we want to be? I think. Does he want to run slower? I don't know what your deal is, man. He's not really comfortable today. Now he is. Okay. So he wants to be in. He wants to like be in sixth. Okay. It's interesting. 102 and 8, pretty slow here. Opening half. Man, there's so much progress we need to make in this game. There's such a long way to go. I'm all for the grind, baby. You guys know me. I'm all for the grind in horse racing games. As long as I know it'll be worth it. Like, a game with no grinding and no payoff is just not fun for me. I have to have a grind, and I have to know that eventually it will pay off. Otherwise, it's kind of like, what's the point of doing it? Okay. Great run off the turn four here for nothing said. Not making as much ground, though. He's actually kind of tired. Oh, come on, my dude. We're the favorites. What is... <sighs> Completely gassed. It's, um, I wasn't even running him that hard. That's insane. Uh <laughs> guys, those are painful races. This game is so challenging. I swear to you. You really think you're you're the you know what a gal racer. Play this game on the hard difficulty and just grind through because that's what it is. It is a serious, serious, serious grind. He was on a roll, wasn't he? Eighth. It's his worst finish so far. Oh, that stinks, man. You guys know me. I don't like having races like those, but... It was a furlong and a half longer than his distance, though, so... I tried both of the boys out at much longer distances, and they did not do well, so... Definitely should not do that. There's like no grade ones on the dirt for horses above four years old. That's crazy to me. Well, nothing said. Since your turf rating isn't all that great neither, and I don't really feel confident running you on the turf. Run him in a grade three. He's going to have to have a handicap next time out. Man, this game is such a grind, but I'm... I'm all for it because I feel like it's going to be worth it when all is said and done. So, just getting everybody in races for next time out. Ali Babel. For him to be 100 on the turf, we should have a better win ratio. Um, 9 to 13 furlongs. Any great ones for you? Spring Mile, I think that's a little too low for him. Summer GP. I hope that's a race he can actually um, have a good running in. Okay, Silent Sun. <laughs> you're going to stress me out so much, my dude, but I feel like you're going to be worth it because he, he, he looks like, as far as if you take a look at his guts, the guts rating and temper are good. The incline is slowly getting better. It was more blue when we first got him. There's a little bit of green now showing. Good braking, conditioning. I think when all is said and done, that's going to be my new saying. <laughs> It'll be worth it. You're a dirt horse, right? Yeah. So. <sighs> Run him in the dirt. Next time out. Scab at speed. Still going hard. Still going strong. And uh, maybe run you into grade two. Or the spring mile. She's doing so well, man. I, I, I feel like it's worth it. She just she won on the dirt in an open last time out. I was sticking her to open. So because she's doing so well, I just feel like momentum is on her side. So I need to ride the momentum wave until we don't need to. Anybody else? 
And Mystery Knight Last Horse to get into a race. Alright. So, Mystery Knight. Um, it's hard for you as well. I just have to double check. Yeah. Even though her dirt rating isn't bad. So, Grade 2, well outside her, her target. Um, 10 furlong sunflower. Or 8 furlongs. Let's see. Slow spurt. Mm. I feel like she would be better at a mile, but I could be entirely wrong. I don't really know what works for her. Like, I just kind of put her in races where it fits within her distance of 8 to 11, but I haven't seen... She's just been so all over the place. I just don't know if there's any ideal race to put her in. Um, did I check the shop? I did not. Let's see. Now look at these horses. Domestic double S and well outside of my budget. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are the horses I really want. All right. Um, I'm going to order one more catalog for next month since now I know. Top of USA, that's the catalog we were just looking at. Um, Desert King isn't terrible. Like, I still think you could find some gems. I'm actually going to go back to Aim High, domestic A-ranked horses for next month, and see how that does for us. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Lots of growing pains. Still so much we have to do. We're only in year 11 in this game. Um, my goal, next two videos, get through the end of the year, get to breeding by the end of uh, the second video. So after this, it'll be two more videos. That second video is hopefully when breeding will happen. And I most likely will have Scabbage Speed retired and possibly nothing said. I still feel like he can achieve a lot, but um, it would be nice to have a better horse, you know? Like, or Ali Babble, I mean. He has a 100 turf rating. Like, let's just look in more detail before we head out here. He's B-ranked, 100 turf rating. The top of his chart, those first three categories, looking decent, right? So if I were to breed him with Scabbage Speed, as you can see, her top three categories are also pretty good. And she technically was a B-ranked horse at her peak. So two B-ranked horses should give us a really strong A. A rank horse, and um, they both have fast spurts, which is fantastic as well. So I really hope they'll be worth it when all is said and done. As I say that again for the umpteenth time, appreciate you guys. Until next time, the horse racing gamers out. Hope you have a great fantastic day. I will see you later and goodbye. Welcome to horse racing gamer, where champions are made.